Very good. Mary, I have a lot of questions, but uh, I think we'll take a break for a All moment right. to hear a word from the Holy Father. extend cordial greetings to the Knights of Columbus, who is not aware of your outstanding history of charitable endeavors carried out in fruitful and fraternal collaboration. I wish to encourage you to remain steadfast in your love for Christ and in your many deserving efforts to defend and promote his saving message. Continue to stand up for the dignity and value of all human life, especially that of the unborn, the elderly, and the handicapped. Persevere in your support for the Christian family and for institutions of Catholic education. May the Knights of Columbus always be known for their earnest and persevering prayer. This is my hope for you and your families and for all those who are dear to you. May God bless you all. Mary, we're back again, and the question I would like to ask you is, how can a mother manage the homemaking if she is home schooling during the day? Well, what parents forget is that, of course, they've got all their little workers at home during the day, too. And the way I did it was I scheduled a household chore between the subjects. And we had, a, so by 3 o'clock, not only did we have our academics done, but all the, all the household chores were done too. And in fact, we encourage homeschooling mothers to have their children help with the housework because they obviously are doing the teaching and it does work. The other thing you have to realize is that the older children help with the younger children too. Not only can the older children help teach, uh, for instance, listening, listening to the reading or uh, helping with the math, something like that, but the older children can also help the, with the younger children with their chores. So it does work out. And our policy is don't do anything you don't have to do. Have your children help you. See, homeschooling is a whole family operation. It's not only the academics. It's the whole family and, and the chores around the house, too. So it does work. How would a single mother handle this? If you want to do homeschooling. We do have single mothers do that do teach their children at home. What we encourage is for them to obviously either get a job in the home, which a lot of homeschooling mothers do. They work in the home. With the computers now and the modems and the technology, a lot of mothers are able to work in their home and homeschool at the same time. If they can't work in the home, we ask them to make their schedule later so that they don't have to be at work till say one o'clock. Maybe they can work the one to nine shift. We have women who, for instance, work in nursing homes or somehow in the medical field so that they can be home in the morning and homeschool in the morning with their children. Then what they do is either their mother, you know, the child's grandmother, or perhaps another homeschooling mother can take the children or the child in the afternoon while the mother is working and the, the child can finish up, say, the workbook assignments or something like that. But we do have many uh, single parents homeschooling. Yes, we do. It's surprising. That's interesting. 